week's parasha, the Torah warns us about bringing an offering to Hashem not in the place of the Beis HaMikdash. It means Hashem says you're going to enter the land of Israel, we'll build a temple, and there is the place where you will bring the sacrifices and offerings. And Hashem says, however, only in that place you should bring the offering, not elsewhere. But the Torah's language is very heavy. It says, I warn you, you dare do that. Make sure no one ever brings an offering outside of the temple. And the question is, why the language? Why so heavy? I mean, when the Torah says, do not kill, which is pretty heavy not to murder, the Torah says just that, do not kill. And here the Torah is like, do not do this. Okay, I got it. No, I warn you, you dare do that. Do not bring an offering outside of the temple. Okay, what's the message? You see, there are many types of offerings, many types of sacrifices. There's a shlamim, a chatas, a oiler, different types. The Torah now uses the word Ola. Do not bring the carbon, the sacrifice of Ola. What does Ola mean? All the other offerings, you put parts of the, of the animal on the altar, on the Mizbeach, and the other parts, the Kohen eats it, the one who brings the offering, they have parts of it and they eat it too. The Ola means entirely. The oiler is entirely for Hashem. You take the entire animal and put it on the altar and no one derives any pleasure from it. The coin doesn't need it. The one who brings it doesn't need it. It's entirely for Hashem. The message the Torah is teaching us is watch out. You want to be holy? You want to be close to Hashem? And you say, I'm giving up my entire life for Hashem. I'm not going to derive any pleasure from this world only for Hashem. Hashem says, watch out. That's dangerous. Don't go there. Because we know what can happen. You're going to be there for a day or two, and then you'll fall entirely. Hashem says, that's not what I need. I have enough angels in heaven. I need human beings. I want you to enjoy life, get the pleasures out of life, and connect to Hashem as much as possible. Hashem says, only in the times of Beis HaMikdash, in the temple, where you see reality, then you can say, wow, there's only God, there's nothing else. But for the most part, for anywhere else in the world, in any other time, Hashem says, watch out, because Jews have that temptation to be so close to Hashem and give up everything. Hashem says, I'm warning you, do not do that, because that does not come from a good place. Hashem says, I do not want you to do that. Don't give up your entire life. Don't sacrifice your life for God. Hashem says, enjoy your own life and give parts of that to Hashem. Thank you. This week's Shabbos, the traveling Hasidim have once again two Shabbatons. One in Marlboro, New Jersey, and the other one in Ottawa, Canada. We're going to have a great time. Thank you, and good service.